I've seen the pictures myself and of course I'm very concerned uh, for the, the uh, families in Kishashawan First Nation. I uh, need people to know that Health Canada officials and our, uh, our health professionals have been working in this community and will continue to do so. We have had discussions with them this morning. I can say that all of the children who are requiring care are getting the care that they need. There are some, of course, who are, have fairly significant health concerns and those who require it will be um, evacuated out of the community to get care uh, if necessary. Apart from that, there are medical teams from Moose Factory who are, are being sent in the, into the community who will literally go door to door to identify other children who may have uh, similar conditions that need to be addressed uh, so that these conditions can be treated appropriately. And the other thing that we'll be working on is important public health uh, measures to help people to understand how to prevent uh, conditions like this from happening in the first place. So uh, interestingly I know that some of uh, the media have suggested that this is related to water or that water is in some way a cause. Uh, it is our understanding that that is not the case. In fact, the water has been tested as recently as last Tuesday, and we know that it meets all of the appropriate standards uh, for safety in drinking water and uh, for water to be used uh, for other purposes. So uh, this is not directly a water-related concern. What I can say to you is that uh, one of the possible conditions that could cause uh, lesions like this is an infectious condition. Uh, I can't uh, give you specifics on the on the actual case, but I can assure you that the appropriate care is being given and the appropriate preventive measures are being undertaken.